Hi, my name's Ed and I work in the Amal Nenets Autonomous Region in Arctic Siberia. Next spring, I'm involved in a pioneering expedition to take a secret compass team out into the Amal Peninsula tundra to live with some of the most traditional indigenous people in the world, the nomadic Nenets reindeer herders. These are people who live year round in the tundra and migrate thousands of kilometers every year on handmade wooden reindeer drawn sledges with their homes and all their possessions packed onto these sledges as well. They cover such a huge distance every year that they have to migrate three or four times a week. These migrations are usually about 15 to 20 kilometers long but twice a year they have to migrate across a 60 kilometer wide stretch of ice known as the Gulf of Ob. The aim of the expedition is to complete this incredibly challenging migration with the Nenets. It's going to be tough, not as tough as in the dead of winter, but we could definitely see anything between plus 5 and minus 40 centigrade. And during the 16 hour crossing of the Gulf of Ob, we're pretty much on open water. We're going to have freezing cold winds blowing down on us from the North Pole and the Arctic Ocean and creating an enormous wind chill factor. So it will be tough. But we're going to be completely immersed in the Nenets lifestyle. We're going to be in traditional Nenets reindeer fur clothing, home sewn by Nenets women. Clothing that is warmer than anything money can buy you in the West. This includes a jacket called a Malitzer, which comes down to your knees and has attached mittens and hood. And boots called Kisui, which come up to your hips and are made of two layers of really thick reindeer fur. The team are not going to be observers, they're going to be playing an integral role in the daily life of the community, helping with tasks such as cutting down trees, chopping them up for firewood, going out to lakes, hacking out blocks of ice, dragging them back to the camp for drinking water and for tea, and during migrations of course help with taking down the chums, putting up the chums, dragging around sledges, setting them up in position for the beginning of the migration. It's tough physical work, particularly when you're doing it in minus 30 with a wind chill factor of minus 10. It can be really tough. We'll be living with Nenna's families in their chums, a reindeer fur teepees with a fire in the middle. So at night it's usually pretty warm, especially if you're in a sleeping bag and underneath some reindeer furs. Meal times should be quite interesting because their tastes are a little bit different from Western ones. They mainly eat meat and fish and they like to eat it raw and very often frozen and raw. It really is like a different world. It's like nothing most people have ever experienced before. And with that in mind, I look forward to seeing you all on your mile.